Behind the spectacular electromagnetic catapult tests of the Fujian aircraft carrier, the continued use of Russian-made engines in the J-15T fighter has sparked widespread speculation. Is this an unavoidable reality for China's Aero Engine Corporation, or a deliberate strategic choice? As China's latest generation of catapult-launched carrier-based fighters, the J-15T delivered a remarkable performance during the electromagnetic catapult trials on the Fujian aircraft carrier, yet it continues to rely on Russian-made L-31F3 engines rather than domestically produced WS-10 engines. This phenomenon has prompted numerous military enthusiasts to question, why does this new carrier-based fighter still depend on Russian propulsion systems amid China's rapidly advancing military technology? To understand this, we must trace the development history of the J-15 series. Originally designated J-11C, the J-15 is China's first-generation carrier-based fighter, developed from the Su-33 prototype T-10K-3 and the J-11B. Due to the tight development cycle for aircraft carriers, the J-15 had to adopt mature technologies available at the time, including multiple designs from the J-11B and Russia's L-31F3 engines. Looking back at the development of the J-15, we can see the rapid progress of China's carrier-based aircraft technology. In 2006, China resumed construction of the unfinished Beryag aircraft carrier while simultaneously launching the development of its accompanying carrier-based aircraft. Early J-15 variants incorporated mature designs and technologies from the J-11B fighter, achieving overall performance comparable to the J-11B and meeting mid-fourth generation standards. Its comprehensive capability surpassed Russia's Su-33 and India's MiG-29K though it still lagged significantly behind the USF, a 18E, F and Francis Rafael M at the time. During the 2010s, China's domestically produced WS-10 series engines were not yet mature and faced various technical issues. At that time, multiple Chinese fighter aircraft, including the J-11B and J-10A, were mass-produced using Russian-made L-31 series engines. Even early batches of the J-16, and J-20 utilized Russian engines as a temporary interim solution. The J-15 presented a unique case, employing two L-31F3 engines specifically engineered for carrier operations. These engines, identical to those used in the Su-33 carrier-based fighter, offer excellent corrosion resistance, see air starting capability, and extended service life. Regarding why the J-15T continues to rely on Russian engines, military analysts generally hold two perspectives. One view suggests this is primarily to deplete existing stockpiles. Since the 1990s, China has imported over 1,000 L-31 series engines, including approximately 200 L-31F3, variants specifically adapted for carrier-based fighters. This stockpile is sufficient to sustain the J-15 series throughout its operational lifespan. Immediately switching to the domestically produced WS-10C engines would render these L31F3 engines unusable, resulting in resource wastage. Another perspective argues that the L31F3 outperforms the domestically produced WS10C in acceleration, and that equipping the same fighter with two different engine systems would complicate logistic support. However, the latter argument faces significant long-term challenges if Russia ceases production of the L31F3 or fails to meet supply demands. J-15 production would be disrupted. A more practical reason is that carrier-based aircraft engines demand far higher development standards than land-based counterparts. Carrier engines must endure extreme conditions including high temperatures, humidity, salt spray corrosion, and frequent catapult shocks. The L-31F3, specifically designed by Russia for carrier aircraft, boasts an initial service life of 500 hours and a total lifespan of 1,000 hours, with its maritime adaptability already validated. In contrast, while the domestically developed WS-10H has made significant progress, its carrier adaptation certification requires a longer testing cycle. The development of the WS-10H engine has indeed achieved major breakthroughs. As the latest member of the Tai Hong family, the WS-10H is specifically designed for naval carrier-based aircraft, offering enhanced adaptability to the high temperatures high salinity, and high humidity conditions of the maritime environment. Its thrust has been directly increased to over 13 tons, with significantly enhanced stability and reliability, and a service life far exceeding that of Russian-made engines. The technological advancement of the WS-10H is evident. Compared to the Russian L-31F3, 
the WS-10H boasts a substantially extended service life of up to 4,000 flight hours, whereas the Russian engine requires major overhaul after just over 1,000 flight hours. This means that after switching to the domestically produced engine, the J-15T can perform missions for longer periods while reducing maintenance requirements. The WS-10H was designed with electromagnetic catapult factors in mind from the outset, providing optimized support for future takeoffs from the electromagnetic catapult deck of the Fujian aircraft carrier. Its flight control performance is more stable, with rapid thrust response, enabling pilots to maneuver the fighter more flexibly. Despite significant progress, testing and validating carrier-based engines requires time. The U.S. Navy's F. A 18F414 engine underwent two decades of iterations before achieving full carrier compatibility, underscoring the lengthy engineering cycle for transitioning land-based aircraft engines to sea-based applications. Carrier-based engines must pass three critical stages, full engine testing, land-based aircraft engine integration, and carrier-based aircraft ship engine integration. This includes dozens of extreme tests covering electromagnetic compatibility, crosswind takeoff, and marine environment adaptation. Beyond engine challenges, the J-15T, developed from a land-based platform, faces inherent design limitations. Its power interfaces and maintenance access points are concentrated in the rear fuselage. While this layout is unproblematic on land, it occupies significant space on the carrier deck, reducing aircraft deployment efficiency. In contrast, the power interfaces of the U.S. Navy's F, a 18-series carrier-based aircraft are located in the forward fuselage, allowing the tail section to hang over the deck edge and significantly improving deck utilization. The J-15T's wing folding line is positioned close to the wing route, preventing external pylons from being loaded with weapons while the wings are folded. Loading operations can only be completed after the wings are fully extended. This design restricts weapon loading efficiency during high-intensity combat cycles, whereas U.S. Carrier-based aircraft can load weapons while their wings are folded, achieving greater efficiency. Despite these shortcomings, the J-15T demonstrates significant advancements in avionics and combat capabilities. It carries a gallium nitride active, phased array radar comparable to the J-20s, boosting detection range from the older J-15s 130 km to 300 km. Equipped with PL-15 missiles, it achieves first detection, first fire, Capabilities. Its electronic warfare capabilities have also been substantially enhanced, with conformal antenna arrays added to the leading edges of the wings and vertical stabilizers, enabling 360 degree radio frequency surveillance. From a developmental perspective, the J 15T represents a crucial milestone in China's carrier based aircraft history, though it will eventually transition to more advanced variants. As an upgraded version of China's first generation carrier based fighter, the J-15T filled the long-standing gap in the Chinese Navy's fixed-wing carrier strike capabilities, accelerating the gradual formation of carrier strike groups. Moving forward, the Chinese Navy will progressively shift toward new aircraft like the J-35, specifically designed for carrier operations, thereby avoiding the inherent limitations of the J-15T from the outset. Looking ahead, as the WS-10H engine completes all testing procedures, and new generation carriers like the J-35 mature, China's carrier-based aircraft propulsion systems will achieve full domestic production. The Russian-made L-31 engine will eventually join other, phased-out Russian equipment as a chapter in China's military development history. The era of made-in-China hearts for carrier-based aircraft has arrived. The J-15Ts on the Fujian carrier merely serve as a significant testament to this transitional phase.